And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven as aggro, Draven easy aggro. Uh, this is basically, uh, this is burn aggro, right? So like, uh, you know, if you like ranking up with the burn decks, this is uh, my burn deck right now. So the thing about this is if you notice like these three ofs, there's 13 cards that I think are really good right now. We have our three one drops um, for the two mana slot. Crimson Disciple, Join a Boom Crew Rookie, and of course the Demolitionist, um, that combo, um, you know, all very good. And I absolutely love Noxion Fervor. I see a lot of people playing like one, maybe two of this card, but I think this is just a three of. I think this card is incredible. Um, so yeah, it gives us just more burn, more reach. So basically we got like 13 cards that I want to play three of, and then it's just this one last slot. There could be a lot of things. You could play a Jinx, could play, th thought about playing like a Vision to discard um, and get your things plus one, plus zero. There's a lot of different cards you could play in there. Um, you know, even a, a Katarina, um, a Brothers Bond, sure, why not? Transfusion, absolutely. That could definitely be a Transfusion. However, what we're gonna be doing here um, is we're gonna play an Ezreal. And we, we did this once before, a little bit before um, the new set came out. And basically the reason why we're playing an Ezreal, Ezreal is probably a worse card for this deck than a lot of those other cards I just named. But it's just this one of, and it's not like that much worse. But the, so the main value in playing Ezreal is that having Draven and Ezreal together, we know Draven and Ezreal is a control deck. And so maybe we'll get some value for people mulliganing differently because they'll they'll see Draven and Ezreal together as their champions and they will then mulligan like they're facing a control deck. So maybe it's other, like against an aggro deck, that probably doesn't help that much because they're just going to be mulliganing for all their aggro stuff. So it doesn't really help there. But against control decks, maybe they see um, early removal and mulligan that away and look for like, card draw and like denies and uh things like that and look for like late game powerful stuff and that's where we can and then we can just have an even bigger advantage so i feel like if we're going to be playing this deck where um a lot of people are playing this this uh this burn aggro with draven as their only champion i feel like if we're, if we're already in that market where our deck's already like pretty strong with Draven as our only champion, having this Crimson Disciple, Demolitionist, everything like that. And we have like this one flex slot that could be a lot of different things. Might as well get like the value of, um, you know, even if Ezreal's maybe not quite as good as some of the other stuff, we get some value of uh, it being um, a different deck than what people will be used to, or like they'll mulligan incorrectly. That's our goal. And plus, you know, it's still an elusive thing that makes a mystic shot. It's not like it's a bad card. That's real good. So let's let's go for it. So, you know, I, I wanted to play like some burns today. Wanted to play Crimson Disciple plus um, Boom Crew Rookie. And while I was putting that together, I, uh, you know, went through and I found the 13 cards that I really wanted to play. And then I was planning on doing Vision as my flex slot um, or Transfusion. I was, I was debating between Vision and Transfusion. But then I just realized, I was like, uh, actually, let's, should we keep Decimate? Yeah, let's keep Decimate. But then I realized, no, let's just put the Ezreal in there. And we'll just get him. No one's the one. Hey, new bloco, I'm doing good. Doing good. See, they're like, right now, they're like, what? Allegiance Abitur. I wasn't expecting that. What is this? I thought they were playing control. I mull I they look at their hand and they're like, I'm mulligan my thermogenic beam. Why'd I do that? Alright, I don't like Mystic Shot. Mystic Shot's one of our worst cards for this matchup, honestly, so those were uh two poor draws. Coming in hot. They could still have... Uh, I don't know if they're playing Static Shock. They may have Static Shock. Yeah, this is worth it.
All right, down to 12. We have four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight in hand. And I don't really want to. I walk my path alone. I don't really want to kill one of these. All right, let's say I just go straight to attacks. Uh, they take two from the attack triggers uh, and take two from whatever they don't block, so they take four. If I play this thing, they take two from the Demolitionist. No, we can do the Demolitionist afterwards. It's it's better just to, to wait till afterwards. They take four, then the Demolitionist makes that six, and then we have all these still. Seems to be the problem. You're dead. Just straight up dead. Turn five. Sorry for talking bad about you, Mystic Shot. Do you need that decimate? Let me save. So you can kind of tell. I think you can kind of tell our opponent was pretty confused. They're like, what are you doing? Draven Ezreal, I thought that's control. How to make burn better. Your opponent mulligan's bad. All right, what do we got? So see, like they're they're doing like so. We're, this is just a mirror match. They're doing the same deck, but I just have this Ezreal in here that can throw people off. Um, do I want the second Draven? I'm keeping the other three. I think we're supposed to just keep Draven. Draven's too good. So we'll see how the mirror. You know, this is a mirror match. It's fifty fifty. Let's see how we do. Ooh, no one drop. I can do this. Do I want to like just go Grenadier block or Boom Crew rookie block? I guess it's rookie block. Of course I'm ready. Light the fuse. That's always been the better run. Hey, Wrangler, happy Saturday. Happy 12 hour stream day. Let me show you what I can do. Be new set. Being out. Um, we only have one new card in hand right now Imperial Demolitionist. Oh, there's a new card Noxion Verver. But yeah, it's new new set time. Let's make a deal. Get some blocking in, salesman. Okay. Uh, how do we block? You go there. You go here. You go here. Here. 
Hmm. Alright, I guess you go here. Coming in hot. Six mana. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Um, no, there doesn't seem to be anything OP. Demacia is looking pretty good because it's a, it's, you know, fairly straightforward deck to put together and everything. And Grizzled Ranger, looking good. Uh, don't them to have removal. Like I, I want to whirling death down the Draven with my Draven, but then if they have removal for my Draven, that could be bad. So what if we mm, eleven? No, ah. I finally decided I was going to do the three damage to them. It's fine. We get to cast both of these now, so it's, it's fine. gonna kill that d3 to them but they're on the same course it looks like yeah yep this is a mirror match perfect all right well I do have eight damage to them if they tap out. One mana, they're gonna have like Blade's Edge. Gosh, I hope they don't have Blade's Edge and respond in Blade's Edge, my Grenadier. I guess we don't have to do anything yet. But I shouldn't just pass turn, because if I pass turn... Okay, yeah. See, if I would have passed turn, they would have just passed turn back. Alright. Hope it's not... Blade's Edge. It's just going to be so random if they just have a Blade's Edge in their deck. Alright, sweet. Well, good thing I didn't play that card earlier to do the, the three damage to them, because then I wouldn't have been able to kill my own thing and get that extra two in. Because they want me to untap, like they probably had multiple burn spells in hand, for, like if I untap. So you untap with all that mana. Hey, Moonlight, welcome back. Stream's working again. Yes. Stream working. Spirit, please. Close. Do you keep Mystic Shots? I have Mulligan Mystic Shots. 
No, we should probably keep Mystic Shot. Ooh. Yay. Go ahead, attack. Go ahead. Do it. Wow, they did. Alright, another two damage. The problem with playing something right now is they could, uh, they could play Fiora. I think I just attack. Cause like, if I play, if I play any of these, then they play Fiora, then I don't get to attack with this Crimson Disciple anymore. Fiora or Badger Bear. Alright, get another 3 damage in. Yep, there's the Badger Bear. So, good call by me. Now we'll get this rookie in play. That's right, 12. Ooh, that's a good card. This can do two damage. That's two. That's three. Gonna start adding up. Let's make it deep. Is, is you're dead. Don't matter. I'll do better this time. They're just dead. Shield up. Defend our banner. Put him down to one, we'll have the Mystic Shot. Don't think straight up Demacia really has anything that's gonna stop this Mystic Shot from killing them. Wow, they didn't even, <laughs> they just went down to one, they didn't even wait to see if I had a Mystic Shot. Oh, that's another win. Burn aggro, is it good again? Burn good again. Yeah, that's true. That is true that the... Uh... Yeah, you don't... Um... Lots of Demacia around makes burn spells pretty good. Without, you know, that they're not playing life gain. Triple one drop, a three mana spell that does three to them. I don't, I don't know 
know what else I'm looking for. Rookie, the better play? Maybe. What am I doing? Play this thing. Attack with this also. Get more damage in. They block here. Take six. in the blade. Mm. So they're going to challenge my 2-1. They're at 14. This is 10. 8. 5. So we're going to put them down to 5. I thought about not playing anything there, letting them challenge, and then doing the Noxious for Noxion Fervor to what they challenge. I can do this. A symbol worth fighting for. That's five damage. They're down to five. I have six in hand. All we have to do is keep, you know, we have to keep one creature alive, which is what we have. Um, just gotta hope they don't have like a, a instant speed removal spell for my creature, you know. So basically, the ooh, that's good. That's good. Um. Hmm. <laughs> they just surrender? It's like, yeah, you are dead, but Alright, so we were going to we were going to play the play the Caskman. Whatever Fiora challenges, we were gonna use our deal three, do three to them, whatever Fiora challenge to to kill the Kill the thing that Fiora challenged, and then they were they were definitely taking two from those things. They they would have had to have double single combat. They would have had to single combat in response to kill that thing that I used my fervor on, and then and with Fiora and have Fiora stay alive, which I don't know if that was even possible. They'd have to do that first, and then they would also have to. Have another single combat for whenever I played my get excited to kill one of my other things for the fourth kill. And also not have me kill my own creatures in blocking, which I guess I couldn't kill the rear guard, so. I don't know, they were in a tough spot. Alright, Misfortune Quinn, more Demacia. Let's get rid of this and this for now. Let's see what else we get. Yeah, it's an easy thing to play right away. But I, I really like... I mean, of course, it's probably because I'm playing it, but I really like my version where it has the the, the regular 13 great cards, and then we just have, for our, our 40th card, instead of 
you know, Transfusion or a Vision or anything like that. Um, I'd probably play Transfusion. We just have this one Ezreal. Oh, darn, we drew it. That... <laughs> That's just chilling here, just to to fool my opponents also, so they mulligan a little worse. It's just my my fortieth card. I'll do better this time. I won't back down. Take it. Whoa. Take it. Darn. All right, so good start for them. Time for a true display of skill. I don't know, Ezreal will do something. Technically attacks for three. have a two or two attack also oh take your time pal it's not like I've got better things to do flavor and spice just need a second I'm still hoping they don't have single combat to kill Ezreal. If they have single combat, we're in real trouble. Kill war shafts or do two to them, so they're at 16 still. Um, we're a ways away from killing them. Guess we kill the war shafts. Usually, like this is pretty rare. This is a pretty rare occurrence that we're not doing the damage to them. I think I think we lost this one. Good hand. They had a good hand. Me not so much. I think we lost this one. Them badger bears. Was convenient for me. Can't imagine that that was too likely. Yeah, that was a good whiff. Can we stay live long enough?
This could work. We may win this. Depends, obviously, what they have. We are no easy. Don't love that. I can do this. Just like honey thresher geese. Yeah, I could see that, uh, Darius. Yeah, I, I agree with you that uh, alliance. You said alliance or allegiance. Sorry, allegiance needs an animation. Yeah, I could definitely see allegiance getting an animation. All right, just gonna take this because I want to just go straight to um, damage. Block. Block. Okay, good. No pump. Good. Ezreal attacks for three. This attacks for two. That's five. Ugh. Just need to, need to draw another Noxion Fervor. Keeping Draven in hand because we, you know, maybe we get get excited on top. We need get excited or Noxion Fervor on top. One of those two cards. I didn't think that we would have like any chance this game. We've had a little bit of a chance. No. Oh, that's true. I could play the Draven. Yeah, I could just play the Draven and get the... Create the other thing to discard. Anyway, but... It didn't matter. It's not like playing the Draven, I could survive combat. So it's not like playing the Draven or not mattered. But I guess, I guess we could have. So close. We came really close, even with that poor of a hand. Ezreal, see, Ezreal can still do stuff for you, right? Like... Ezreal's not necessarily bad, but I, re I really like having the Ezreal in like that one slot just to confuse the opponents. And sometimes you just, you know, you can gain a lot of percentages in some games with a mulligan really incorrectly. You can gain a lot of percentages. It's not gonna affect every game. And against against curve out decks like, like Demacia, it doesn't really affect that because uh, they're just trying to curve out. Um, and so like, that's what they're mulliganing for. But whenever you face like the thing, the thing that this really helps you against is the control decks, because because control decks will see see this and think another control mirror, and they'll they'll mulligan accordingly. Um, and control decks are just kind of in, in general. That's like kind of what like these aggro decks have kind of struggled with, especially like the Shadow Isles control, with like all the life gain and things like that. But um, you know, like your uh, so yeah, so if if uh, you can just improve those matchups by quite a bit by just throwing an Ezreal in there. And sometimes, you know, fool other people. Uh, you can get there. But yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah, how they had a really good curve. Mine wasn't so good. And we had them where they were down to three. And if I would have, you know, if it would have top decked an auction fervor, maybe we would have got there. Now, I guess the Mega Rain killed us first. They got down to five. Um, but yeah. Pretty, like, this is just a good deck. Like, the burn deck is good with, like, now this Demolitionist added a bunch. Because now playing, now you, like, you don't feel bad for playing Disciple because you're going to have, like, the Demolitionist a good amount of time. This combo here added a, a whole lot to the deck. But then also the Noxion Fervor. Love this card. You know, this is just more direct damage, more direct damage, more direct damage. And there's less life gain and less removal. A lot more like Demacy and everything like that. Um, yeah, I like, I like, I really like these additions because Noxus was was like the weakest region before this. So I, I like these two additions. I think these are are good additions to the format to the game. All right, so there we go. That's this is this is my burn deck. If you like, um, if you like burn decks, this is the one that I recommend. This is what I think is the best burn deck. Um, I love all thirteen of these cards and. 
Uh, you can really gain a lot of percentage points for just having this as the extra card. Not every single game, but you're going to have some games where um, just having that in your deck gains you a bunch of percentage points for your opponent mulliganing incorrectly. All right, there we go. Draven as aggro or Draven easy aggro. Aggro on easy mode. All right, this is my... Uh, Rank up recommendation. That's a good one. All right, you, uh, if y'all are watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know what you think of the curveball of throwing an Ezreal in here um, and everything like that. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Dra Draven as aggro, and I will see you for the next video.